hi everyone so i'm uh, going to power on the pc and uh, as you see uh, our uh, previous video where we have uh, made bootable pen drive that is already attached to my pc and uh, i'm going to power on the button i just powered on the cpu button i'm just waiting to come up i'm pressing escape button to um, uh, go to the uh, CMOS setup you need to continue uh, pressing the uh, escape button to see the CMOS setup so we need to select here computer setup F10 button now we need to go to storage let me show you my system information so here we go so this machine is hp compact pro 6300 sff it's i7 variant 3770 3.4 gigahertz it has 32 gb ram total 4 ram slot per slot has 8 gb ram and so on so let's move to storage and you can see the storage uh, information over here whatever you have attached hard disk to your machine you would able to see over here in this menu device configuration where you can see 320 GB hard disk Toshiba and uh, 15 GB sand disk which uh, we have made a bootable pen drive earlier so let's move to the storage option Okay guys, make sure you are selecting uh, SATA emulation e AHCI because it's uh, a little fast compared to the ID so it should be always AHCI and uh, removal media boot always enable if it is disabled that means you won't able to run the uh, uh, Windows setup Windows installation using pen drive. So this sh this should option Enable this should be enable all the time and uh, SATA speed I mean the hard hard disk connectivity speed should be 3.0 or if you have 6.0 that is okay uh, Make sure it should not be 1.5 otherwise you will face some uh, slowness while accessing the application so it should always 3.0 or 6.0 whatever you have at the moment go to the boot order let's see what we have uefi boot source and uh, i already selected uh, usb hard drive so it should be uh, on the first column usb hard drive and legacy boot it doesn't matter because we are um, booting this machine through usb hard drive and uh, that's what it should be on the top so let's get started so i'm just pressing uh, pressing f10 button to accept this and uh, we'll continue with the installation f10 f10 set changes yes again yes enter now system will reboot and uh, we will have windows 10 option so this time machine will boot through the pen drive which we have created earlier and that is attached to the machine come on Okay, so it's uh, take the boot from the pen drive and it it is just on Windows screen as you see uh, it's a circling 
all right so now we have the windows installation option say next install now if you don't have the key say just i don't have the product key skip it this option now here the uh, here here is some option uh, home edition then home and uh, then home single language education education and uh, uh, i'll let you know uh, if you already see this video you can uh, compare what is best for you so i suggest windows 10 pro i accept the license terms say next if you want to upgrade your machine from windows 7 to windows 10 choose this option if you want to fresh installation select this one if you want to um, upgrade your version you can select this one upgrade install so right, right now we are installing fresh on this machine so i'm sele selecting this one all right click on new I just wanted to create C drive space around 70 GB apply alright so the partition is created for that and uh, I have 67 GB left in C drive you can just leave it uh, unallocated space at the moment and we can uh, make this uh, happen uh, once we we'll, uh, once the windows 10 installation will done so select this one primary and say next so the installation will take around uh, 10 minutes i guess so that also depends on uh, what hardware you have so this is hard drive hdd not ssd so hard disk always take longer time compared to the ssd so we have we should have patience so i'll pause the video and uh, once we will on finishing up i'll resume it again if there is any error message i'll resume it again and i'll show you how to fix it Um, one more thing I just wanted to show you if you just wanted to make a little fast this installation you need to press shift key and uh, then F10 so this window will come up you need to open task manager the command is task MGR and this task manager window will come up on the screen and uh, you can just go to process set up and uh, set priority high all right so at least two to five minute uh, will be you will be saved two to five minutes because it will speed up the process if you set high priority so that's what i have set up the uh, high priority if you see it it is on high all right If you have enough time just don't do it if you want to do it you can just do it so let me close this one we are on 70 percent nice nice to see it i'll pause the video guys okay now we are on uh, installing updates so just few uh, second series so start now now you can just remove the pen drive Sometime it, it happen it will uh, 
start again from that uh, Windows installation window. So better you can just remove the pen drive once it restart the machine. Now we have uh, initial setting for Windows login. So that now this time uh, Windows uh, is trying to set up the driver whatever driver the Windows 10 setup has that is uh, just installing and uh, the rest of uh, driver which uh, Windows will not find we need to install that manually So far, it took around 10 minutes and hopefully within 20 minutes everything would be set up. Alright, so computer is rebooted and uh, now we have initial setup for Windows 10 and uh, you can select over here the language which you want to use in OS and uh, say yes you need to select the keyboard which you want to use for me it's us click click on yes if you want to additional add any other language keyboard you just need to click on add layout and you can just do it i just don't want to use any other layout for keyboard and uh, i'm clicking on clicking on escape Now it's asking me to connect to the LAN network but I just don't want to connect at the moment. So I'm clicking on I don't have internet. And uh, if you want to <coughs> um, click on connect now so you would able to connect these services from the Microsoft but I don't have these services at the moment with my account so I'm clicking on this one continue with uh, limited setup. now you need to put the pc name um, uh, i mean the username who are going to use this next password Re input the password again you need to uh, set the security question and that is mandatory one so i'm putting like this admin one next whatever you can do that that's really not matter because uh, it will not use the security portion um if you want to access uh, your device your mobile device you can uh, click on yes or i just don't want to do that so i'm clicking on no because later now also you you would able to configure your phone on on this uh, windows 10 device so i'm clicking on no at the moment and later on we can do that okay <clears throat> decline i just don't want to go through this stuff okay all right so here is some selection which is very important if you want to do that just leave it as it is what you can see at the moment but i don't want to you know um make it uh, enable because i i am never using these services from the microsoft so i'm just disabling these services all the services which is not usable for me if you if you find these services are usable for you just make it enable yes okay since this is not useful for me i'm just uh, disabling this all
So we are about to finish. So this is uh, this uh, setting up your text up at the moment. It's creating a profile which you have named. It's creating a folder, necessary folder. And the default application which uh, comes under your profile. So that's what it's doing in the back end. Almost there. So we are about to get in. All right. So we are uh, we have the uh, desktop now we are logged in with uh, account and uh, let's see your next video to configure the complete windows 10 thank you